Hi there! In this lesson, we're going to add sound effects and music to our game scene to give players more feedback during gameplay. So let's get started! Without sound, Buster Keaton had to rely on showing a train whistle in his 1920s silent film, One Week. With their house stuck on the railroad tracks, Buster Keaton and his co-star Sybil Seeley try desperately to move the house. Thankfully, the train misses the house. If this classic silent film had had sound, perhaps they would have heard the train whistle of the oncoming train from the opposite direction. Sounds can inform players of rewards lurking nearby or warn them of incoming enemies. Sound effects give players feedback when they've successfully completed a task, lost, or collected a crucial item. Background music adds mood to a game environment, which players can use to get more information about the game space. Music can even help players adjust to the pace of a game with faster or slower tempos. Audio clips are sound and music assets stored in a digital file. The Unity game engine accepts these common audio file types for audio clips. These audio assets can be added to your project window and used during the design and development of your game. Audio clips can be attached to game objects or placed in an area of a scene as its own game object. Audio sources emit or send out the audio clip sound. When an audio listener is near an audio source, that sound is retrieved and played back to the player. Usually games only have one audio listener, and most often it's attached to the main camera that follows the player's character. The listener pulls in any audio sources nearby as the player moves around the game environment. Here's a game scene where multiple audio sources have been attached to game objects. You can see the audio sources properties in the inspector window. As you can see, there are several parameters to set for an audio source, including its volume, pitch, if it should loop, and when it should begin playing. The 3D sound settings graph at the bottom is a common type of roll-off applied to this particular audio source. Roll-offs allow audio sources to sound more quiet as the player moves away from the source or louder as they move toward the source. The logarithmic, linear, and custom roll-offs are the three common types. You can use these to change the volume of an audio source in relation to where a player is positioned in a 3D game environment. Audio sources can pass through an audio mixer before it's received by an audio listener. Audio mixers provide special audio effects such as reverb. Reverb is a common audio effect used to simulate how audio sounds in a large environment or where it may bounce off of other objects. This is effective for conveying large spaces with echoing sounds, such as a cave. Now that you know a little more about how audio behaves in game environments, it's your turn to create some sound effects that give gamers valuable information during gameplay.